It's a 100% mobilization, day one of Russia's drive to build its army. Summon delivery to eligible men at midnight. School teacher pressed it into handing out draft notice. Men given an hour to pack their things and appear at draft centers. Women sobbing as they sent their husband and son off to fight in Russia war in Ukraine. The first full day of Russia first mobilization since the Second World War. Produce emotional meltdown at draft centers and even signs of protest. While it appears Russia could be considering far more than 300,000 news conscript claimed by the defense minister Sergiya Sahu, one woman in the small village in the Zakamensky region of Buritia in eastern Siberia, said the first felt something was amiss when the dog began barking out at midnight. In a community of 450 people, the village head was walking from house to house. Seeking to hand out more than twenty draft notices as men gather before departing the next morning, she said. Some drank vodka, while other hugs and told their others to stay safe. Women cry and made the sign of the cross over a small minibus that carried them away. It's not a partial mobilization; it's a one hundred percent mobilization," said Alexandra Garmakzakpova. President of the Free Buryatia Foundation, an activist group that has reported on the draft in the region, in the past day she said she and her colleague has received and identified more than three thousand reports of povetska or draft paper being delivered in Buryatia within just twenty-four hours of Vladimir Putin's announcing the draft. Despite assurance that Russia would seek men who had recently served in army and had combat experience, activists point to a number of cases of men in their thirties, fifties receiving draft notice. One woman said a fifty-two years old relative has been delivered at a povetska shortly before the president announced the draft the previous day. Yanina Nimayeva, a journalist from Ulan Ude. In Burtaya, complained that her 38-year-old husband has received a draft notice despite never having served in the army. Don't you have five children? They asked him. My husband laughed and said, "Yes, five kids." Okay, well, expect your draft paper," she said. I understand that we have a quota. Our republic needs to gather four thousand soldiers. Animayeva, in a video address to the regional governor. But some parameters and principle of this partial mobilization must be observed. During a televised interview on Wednesday, Soigo said Russia would be targeting 300,000 draftees, many those with recently military experience. But the actual number in order signed by Putin is secret. Some think it would be far higher. The independent Russian newspaper Novaya Gazeta Europe. Reported that a source in the presidential administration said Russia was seeking to draft more than one million people into the army. That reporting has not been confirmed by other news outlets, but videos and anecdotal evidence from around Russia has shown large draft taking place even in small towns, suggesting that the number could be far higher. Many are in Russia's ethnic minority republics. Reinforcing a sense that the country has been disproportionately relying on the ethnic minority to provide its main fighting force in Ukraine, those region have also suffered a disproportionate number of death and casualty from the war in Moscow. Hundreds gathered to protest on downtown Arbat Street after Putin announced the mobilization. Police officer reportedly began giving draft notice to those detained at the protest. Among them was Artem Krager, a young reporter for the Soda Vision news outlet, who was detained despite being there to cover the protest. All the men's absolutely everyone was given a draft notice, said Krager, during an interview with TV Rain from the back of a police van. That include men who had never served in the army, he said, who were now required to appear at their local requirement center. In a phone call with journalists, Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov appeared to confirm that police were handing down draft notice to detain these. It does not violate the law, he said. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.